So happening now in the George Zimmerman trial, prosecutors want the jury to hear past phone calls the former Neighborhood Watch volunteer made to police. In those calls, he complained about suspicious people he saw in the neighborhood. Phone calls the state believes show Zimmerman's state of mind on the night Trayvon Martin was killed. Zimmerman's lawyers strongly object. They're going to be asking this jury to make a quantum leap from good, responsible citizen behavior to seething anger. Not, to, not the least of which we can't forget, the only person who's testified in this courtroom so far about my client's behavior, the seething nature of it, or actually the non-seething nature of it, is the one who was talking to him on the phone, Mr. Nofty, who said, I heard nothing. Well, let's talk about this argument with Lise Wheel, a Fox News legal analyst, also former federal prosecutor Doug Burns, criminal defense lawyer and former federal prosecutor. All right, so we have heard these these tapes played in court, but it's important to note the jury hasn't heard them yet. Right. Exactly. right. Now, state of mind, what is that? What does it mean? State of mind is so important as to what was Zimmerman's state of mind that night? What was going on? What, was it self-defense? Because that's the whole issue here. Was it self-defense or was there something more untoward than that? And all of these calls over eight years, more than 50 calls over eight years, go to, as a prosecutor, I would argue, his state of mind that night. It doesn't prove... So you think the tapes ought to be allowed? I, I do think so. I think they will be allowed. At least most of them will. This is a very hot bed area in criminal trials, what we call 404B evidence. And, and it was interesting because Mr. O'Mara cited the federal rule, even though the case is in state court. Uh, but the point is prior bad acts, that's separate. They're not saying right. these are bad. Prior acts are generally not admissible to show that the person's conduct was in conformity with those prior acts. However, there's an exception but for preparation, intent, knowledge, planning. Intent, preparation, So it's debatable, but I would right. say that previous instances of him interacting with people are not relevant to this case. But That's didn't, the argument. Didn't, didn't, on, on Trayvon's side, didn't the judge already rule that his you know, previous right. evidence of marijuana use, that kind of thing, is not applicable in this case? That's so. out. That's out. But this is different because that state Why? of mind was not an issue with Trayvon. It is with Zimmerman. But I like, John's. what's good for the goose is good for the gander point, and that is that if you're going to keep character evidence out in general, then keep it consistent. And I agree with you. But wait a second. <clears throat> to say that you could, all of those calls, those 50 calls over eight years, doesn't show something, doesn't show some kind of, I'm looking right at 404B now, intent, preparation, plan, or knowledge? But I'll hit you I with think two other points. I think, that's a, yeah. I think that's a long shot for the, for the judge to say no to. But, uh, but, but I wonder about this. I mean, in some respects, I listen to those calls, and the guy sounds, I mean, George Zimmerman sounds very calm. He sounds... You know, pretty reasonable. Yeah, he throws in an F-bomb, but he doesn't sound like a raving lunatic. Well, that's a really good point, which we didn't even think of, which is even if they get these in, they may, may not be as potent exactly. as the prosecutors think. So then think. the defense can use it. Right. The defense can say, But at least two other points. One, you're supposed to give pretrial notice. Of they did not do that. They that didn't was do that, so I was surprised. And then two, of course, wrong. the judge can turn around under Rule 403, not to be a professor, and say the probative value is outweighed by, by prejudice. Pre right. so. I, mean, I don't think so in this case. I, but I, I agree with you in the sense that defense can use this as well. If they're not that bad, the defense can use that. I lived in Miami during the cocaine, the crack cocaine right. years. And, you know, I moved out of a gated community to a, a nice neighborhood, but we had a lot of crime, and I got really sick. I mean, I, ha I was in my house one night when two punks tried to steal my car off my front lawn. Wow. I, I, had, I had guys breaking into my house while I was home. It was pretty scary. I got sick of it. I agree, but the point is here, when it comes down to that, his state of mind that night, it is relevant. Will it sway a jury? Maybe not. And maybe Doug's right, that it just really has, that the defense can use it even more than the prosecution. But is it relevant? Yes. Well, now I'll come at it from a completely different tack, which is a lot of evidence scholars have said, you know what? Lean in favor of just putting everything in and let the jury decide. So that's well, but another this judge is already not favor doing that. But this judge is already But as not John doing said, that. since he's curtailed this stuff about the victim, right. then I and think. And the experts on the 911 call aren't coming in. So this judge is really pulling back. But having said that, I think the judge will split the baby, maybe, John, and let maybe a couple in and not, and not, not 50 of them. You follow me? Not, right. In other words, not from eight years ago, but maybe from two months ago or six months show, ago. But well, it, they maybe. show an escalating sense of anger. That's what the prosecution wants to show. But it, but it doesn't show then, that he's going to pull a gun and, it doesn't. and, no, it and does blow not. a guy away. It, it, it really does doesn't not. show anything. And I like your thinking, which is, hey, put it in. And he was calm and reasonable. And, and by the way, that simply underscores that in this instance, it then was ratcheted up it. so violently that that's why he had to defend himself. I mean, that's the argument. All right. Again, it's a fascinating it case. It really is. We're going to continue yeah. to watch it. Lease Wheel, Doug Burns, thank you both. Yeah. My pleasure.